Lake's new Storm Team. 6.30, or 6.36 now, 6.16, I'm looking at, we have a second clock on our, on our camera, 6.16, welcome back to Good Day to Cutter. We were just having a very in-depth discussion about cartoons. My favorite was uh, uh, Wiley Coyote when he used to fall off the cliff and hold up the sign and said, yikes. So I need to get a yikes sign in here for when things We can go get wrong. you a lot of things. Uh, like donuts? Yeah, dude, you should get us donuts. Oh, excuse me. It's your turn. Oh, it, oh, it, it is? is have you been keeping tabs? Yeah, we have been. Uh, I, could, I could go for a full length tab, but that's another story for another day. Yeah, that, it's a Friday night. It Come is on, a Friday. Man. It is a Friday. It'll be a nice day Jeez. today. Do get some isolated showers and thunderstorms late into the afternoon, especially up to the north, but satellite radar is showing us clear skies right now across much, if not all of the state. Up into northern South Dakota, uh, we, we do have some light rain, some light cloud cover wanting to build in across that region, but uh, again, not much for today. Uh, temperatures right now, we do got a 40s for the most part. Again, there was that uh, frost of down to the south uh, southwest, but temperatures are a little bit warmer than what we'll see frost development. So your 30s and 40s right now could keep that frost from developing. There's still a chance you lose a few more degrees, but at this point that sun's going to start to shine. You're really going to warm up uh, for the day. Wind speeds and directions five to let's go 15 miles per hour, mostly from the southeast. These winds will calm down at times through the afternoon. And we look to have a light weekend when it comes to wind. Saturday, a west wind five to 15 gust up to 25, and those gusts will be mostly up to the North Northeast and then Sunday just a southeast wind 5 to 15 and there will be some gusts up to 20 miles per hour but even that looks uh, pretty light as well just when you get that rain chance severe weather chance Sunday that's where winds could really start to pick up we look at our highs for today mid to upper 60s across much of the West you move into the central portions of the state and you get those mid to lower 70s for many if not most locations a few areas Botano, Kenmare you could be in the upper 60s but it's going to be very close Ashley as well upper 60s lower 70s for today. Now, instability does show we do have a little bit of instability in the atmosphere for this afternoon up to the north. Nothing severe expected. You get a few rumbles of thunder, maybe a few heavy winds, some small, small hail uh, if a few uh, storms do develop just right. Saturday looks to stay calm for many of us, except some areas to the uh, south southeast. And then we move into Sunday, and this is the day that we got to keep an eye on, especially if you're someone that's going to travel out to Fargo, uh, Grand Forks, down in the northeast uh, South Dakota. There's going to be a lot of unstable environment. Uh, down there in that region and with that comes severe weather chances from uh, large hail, some heavy winds and uh, the environment does look like likely for some tornadoes as well. So we'll keep an eye on it, see if this shifts any farther into the central portions of the state and we look at precision cast and it shows that rain chance Sunday. Today again some isolated showers and thunderstorms through the afternoon into the night. We'll stay dry for Saturday, lots of sunshine there and then we get into Sunday. We're going to have that rain chance move itself in with that severe weather chance down to the south southeast. Again it has shifted a little farther south. We'll see if it continues that shift uh, down into the south, maybe gets out of uh, North Dakota into just South Dakota. And we're entering the month of June, so I want to take a look at those normals. Average temperature highs, you're looking at 74 to 82 degrees. Uh, so we're going to be close to start the month. And then average moisture, 3.36 inches. Uh, the month of May is probably going to be higher than their averages. So we'll see if uh, June can get there as well. Wouldn't surprise me if we do get pretty close uh, to our average moisture level in June. Uh, your Williston five day forecast has got us in the 60s today, 70s for your weekend and for next week. Dickinson, same, 60s today, 70s for the weekend, 70s for next week. Your Minot, seven day forecast, well that's showing us, well, 70s all the way through the next seven days with those rain chances Sunday into next week. Bismarck, that's got us in the 70s uh, through the weekend and for next week. Look what I got. You do. You made yourself a sign. I got my you can't really see it, can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're going to get a, we're gonna oh, get a we shot are, here. Are, yeah. yes. I got my sign here. It says, yikes. Yes. <laughs> That's severe weather. More, yeah, you know, that is. A, it's going to be an interesting <laughs> one. If it stays out to the east, I think most people will be fine with that. But uh, probably one of the, our highest chances we've had. We got it early this week. We were already seeing that sign for Sunday. And again, SBC giving a marginal, uh, that slight risk already. It's a good sign we're going to see severe weather far go south for the weekend. Can I get a roadrunner honk? Um, no. Meet There you go. That was good. I, I thank you very much. Good. All right, we got to get serious now here. Coming up on Good Day Dakota, Guy Gregory.